cooking is all about ingredients, and you could be using some that are way past their prime. That economy-sized jug of cooking oil, those spices that have been in the pantry for 10 years, they've got to go. Jared Cotter is putting the pantry cleanse on the to-do list. Celebrity nutritionist Alexandra Catalano says some staple pantry items could be hurting you. So I'm cleaning out my pantry. She's got three fixes to your pantry pandemonium, starting with bad oils and fats. Canola oil, get rid of it. It's one of the biggest contributors to heart disease in America. All hydrogenated oils promote inflammation and negatively impact cholesterol. What is that? can't be good for you. Some of the healthier oils would be an olive oil. Make sure that it's in a dark glass bottle and you want extra virgin cold pressed. Coconut oil controls cholesterol, flaxseed oil is high in omega-3s, and ghee, a type of clarified butter, is packed with vitamins. Next, get rid of enriched foods. It means actually that the vitamins and minerals have been stripped out of there and then they try to stick some back in there because it's so heavily processed. And enriched flours, pastas, and even snacks like crackers have been bleached. So instead, almond flour, which is great. Almonds are really rich in vitamin E. And try coconut or flaxseed flours, flaxseed crackers, and buckwheat and chickpea-based pastas. Tastes like pasta, no difference there. And our final pantry no-no, refined sugars and salt. And I know this is hard, but we've got to get rid of it. Sugar is incredibly toxic. It's incredibly addictive. And you can swap it out for a natural sweetener that actually will help your body and won't raise your blood sugar. Look for swap outs like stevia, manuka honey, and monk fruit sweetener. It's got a different consistency to sugar, but just as sweet. And processed table salt is loaded with chemical additives and all the good minerals have been taken out of it. Celtic sea salt and pink Himalayan sea salt is actually very healthy for you and doesn't contribute to high blood pressure. You can actually see and feel the minerals in it. When you're using high quality, nutrient rich ingredients, you'll notice the benefits right away. I feel better already, but are you keeping things in your pantry that should be in your fridge? Find out at thelisttv.com. Purging your pantry on the to-do list.